home of the war chant, Chief Osceola, Renegade, and the Florida State Seminoles, a place simply known as the Dope. Today, a clash between a couple of ACC rivals in a game that could have big-time implications for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Boston College Eagles taking on the 11th-ranked team in the land, the Florida State Seminole. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. And the Seminoles will put total leather and will get started. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So Boston College's offense is on the field for the first time today. And here he is, one of the best receivers in the game, and he just commands attention both from the defense and from the fans. Yeah, he's a guy you got to keep your eye on, and you're going to see him line up all over the field in this game. He can play in the slot. He can play out wide. He can run the entire gamut in the route tree as well. Really nothing this guy can't do. It's just so nice to have a QB under center nowadays in football. You can trust these guys. You put so much on their plate, and you tell them, go get positive yards when it's there. And a lot of these guys are such great athletes. They do it with ease. On the ground, it's Grobacho. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. The ball is out behind the line. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. As a defender, you love the big hits. And you know what the cherry on the Sunday is? When you get the big hit and force the fumble. Three tight ends in the formation on first and ten. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. From the 17-yard line, threatening to score on first and 10. Used the play fake, now to throw. Let's it go to the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Seminole! What a grab it! What a quick strike from that offense. And when I'm an offensive coordinator and I see a short field, I'm thinking attack, attack, attack. Go get that touchdown. Take advantage of what the defense gave you. Great job by the offensive coordinator. PAT unit on the field. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. They didn't have a whole lot of real estate in front of them when they took over possession, but they wasted no time. Couple of plays into the end zone. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. BC has it back, and the Eagle offense returns to the field. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. 
He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. No, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. What those big fellas get lathered up. And the Golden Eagles come to the line in the hurry up. On the run, it's Ward. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. You've got to keep defenses off balance. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They'll try to get the first through the air. Makes the catch. It's McGowan. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down. It'll bring up a big decision. Just not able to shake enough defenders and comes up a little bit short. And I think a lot of times on third down, Reese, you bet on your guy. When you're an offensive guy, you say, okay, he's going to break a tackle. He's going to get north and south and somehow get the first down. Nice tackling by the defense, understanding where they had to get to and forcing the fourth down. Slips through the line. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. They'll run it. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple at second and eight, Back to throw. It's Uyunglele. They've got the screen set up. And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets it up on the catch for the first down. Nothing too surprising about seeing the Seminoles being productive in the passing game. Man, we can think back, Reese, to so many great offenses for Florida State, whether it's Charlie Ward or Chris Winkie, whoever it is, the trigger man being really, really good is the start of a great Florida State team. Caught in the backfield, it's West. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. It must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position. They can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. Kept it on the ground on first down, now back to the line. He's looking for an open man on second down. Catch in the middle, it's Lee. They've got it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. It's first down. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. A jet sweep pass. Fights off a defender. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. A lot of times, defense is blitz to stop the run. This very play right here uh, puts the linebacker, but man, the offense did a great job. Everybody understood what they saw. Running back understood. Pick up a nice positive gain, and they were trying to get a blitz and maybe create a tackle for a loss. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that one. Play. The Seminoles have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll run it. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Can the D deny them on second and goal? Wide receiver shows motion. 
Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Touchdown, no! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They marched 56 yards to the end zone. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Boston College sending the offense back onto the field. Give to the back. Hard running there. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. The Golden Eagles headed quickly to the line. They'll keep it on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And there was no space, nowhere to go. That play went absolutely nowhere. Sometimes you just need a dude to show up and make a play, and he did. Sometimes you just need to block that dude, and they did this defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. To the air, it's Castellanos. Finds a tight end. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33, and it's first down. Yeah, and obviously great play by the offense to keep the drive alive, and also a good find by the quarterback on third down. BC back to work after picking up the first down. On the run, it's Grobacho. Showing off the arm. And gang tackling on this dude is a good idea. They needed it, but he still got the first down. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game going. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Not in lockstep there with the receiver. Well, on that last play, you'd like to see the quarterback be a little bit more accurate and give his guy a chance to make the play. That ball wasn't even close to his intended target's body. After the misfire, now on second down. Wide out in motion. They'll go to the ground. He picks up four. That'll leave them with third and six. That's the end of the quarter, and Florida State has the lead. Man, that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. It's a draw. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Man, that's a really good job by the defense because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you've got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing bowl, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. Boston College lining up to punt this one away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. 
Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Power football with the run. Moves it out to the 34-yard line. A nice 15-yard gain on that one. Renegade would be proud of the way they're using those horses to move it on the ground. Yeah, get the horsepower going. And, man, they've had some serious backs over the years at Florida State. And you think about all the talent, all the swag over the years. you got to get back to that, find those guys that they can really attach this offense to and thrive. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. The give to the tailback. Tried to fight his way through that tackle, but he's brought down. That's a great individual play, and I love cornerbacks that don't just take pride in covering guys. I like guys that like to put their face in the fan and affect the running game. This dude is physical, and he impacts the defense because of it. And those guys are really hard to find. A lot of corners, they're smaller. They don't want any part of the physical run game. Nice job sticking his face in there, setting the edge, making the tackle. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. The Seminoles decide to punt it away. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. A fair catch called for and made. BC has the ball back, hoping for a party in the mods. They've stumbled a little bit out of the gate here, Jesse, finding themselves down by two scores. Yeah, and their defense needs to help them out and get off the field and get them some more possessions. This offense didn't spend a lot of time on the field in the first quarter. David, I think they got to run the ball here and try to establish some rhythm. they got to establish something. And you're right. You'll wear your defense out continue. You keep getting the football back to them, to the other offense. You're wearing your defense out, and you'll have no shot to get back in this game. And the Golden Eagles want to crank the tempo. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Really good job by the defense seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It could happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand, safety's got to see that, start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that play. Looking to move the chains. They throw it complete to the left. He ended up going backwards on the play, and they will not convert that third down. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route really when it's off cover. But you can tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle for the pass. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The fair catch just inside the 40. They'll run it from the gun. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. Fast motion from the offense. To the ground with the back. Tackled, but he has a first down. You gotta have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. They'll snap it from the 47 on first down. Using his legs, it's to a feeling. At the 35, he's loose. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Picks up 15 yards on the play and an important first down. First down, 
physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. You see all this movement in football now. All the stem in the defensive line. They're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. Grabbed over the middle. It's Morlock. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Everybody on the same page there on blitz pickup, right? Offensive line, everybody communicating, understanding where they have to work to give their QB time to make an accurate throw and pick up the first. And the Knowles with the first and ten. They go to the ground. Just ran him over. They stop him just a length or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. The give to the back. Tackled after picking up the first down. You know, you start day one at training camp running your base runs. If you need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy. They're not pretty. But in the end, they're effective, and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. The Knowles are threatening on first and goal. Dropping back. It's Uyangalale. They're bringing heat. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. Going for six. Throw to the end zone. It's picked off. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. What an amazing play by the defense. Not only do you get the interception, but you completely flip the field. And how about the open field running by that guy once he made the pick? BC has it back, and the Eagle offense returns to the field. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but, man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down two scores. Jesse, you've got a good opportunity. Create some momentum. Cut it to a one-score game. This is an important possession. Yeah, it's important to create that momentum now, David, too, and not wait to get it going here at the start of the third quarter. You've got one drive here to get a couple of points. You've got to start erasing and chipping away at this deficit. This could be where the game turns right here. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's thrown to the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit, forcing that incompletion. And now on second down for this offense. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Quick strike complete. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route running. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots and zones. You gotta get him involved. On first and 10, trying to strike from the 15. 
from the red zone, looking for a space. Finds his man. It's Franklin. Takes it all the way down to the four after making the grab, and they're set up. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. This offense needs a little something to feel good about going to halftime. A chance to chip away here on first and goal. Quarterback strolling away from Heat. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Boston College. And that's a nice drive, a nice physicality, punching it in with the run game. And here's the thing. I like where this offense is going. Nice job creating some momentum, going into the half, cutting down the lead. This thing could get really exciting. Nice job answering the bell right before the half. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with the score from the four. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Dropping back, it's Uyunglele. He's right on target. The offense will stop the clock and use one of its timeouts. And because the receiver was able to drive back to the QB on that curl route against man coverage, he was able to create a little bit of separation between him and the defender, and that was a big key in getting that first down. Feeling some heat. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. This is a good sign for this defense. The rate they were going, not touching the quarterback, him already having two touchdown passes in the first half, this was not going to be a fun football game to watch. Now they're turning the tide a little bit, getting a little bit of pressure, getting a sack. Not a lot of productivity on that last play. They'll try it again on second and long from the 23. Hand off to the single back. And he'll just get back to the line of scrimmage, and we have run out of time in the second quarter. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. All right, guys. Looks like we've got a great one in Tallahassee going on. And it's been said football is a game of inches, and guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to our guys at Bobby Bowden Field. It's all teed up. Boston College will kick to start this third quarter. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Pulls and fires complete. Well, give the defense credit on that one because they knew coming into this one that they were going to try to get this receiver the ball in a variety of ways. They were ready for the screen there, and they create a negative play. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Touch pass on the jet sweep. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch. So pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put, have push passes when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. And he intercepts it. Never really got that return cranking, but the offense is set up at the 30. Well, I love the job by the coaching staff there defensively, matching the personnel of the offense, putting their dime package out on the field. So you bring out the extra defensive back. You're anticipating a pass. Perfect timing to run that personnel and you get the pick. 
Boston College sending the offense back onto the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance. Headed to the end zone. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Boston College! When you're handed a break with unbelievable field position like that, you better finish the deal, and they did. You saw the quarterback jog on the field. I think he gave a high five to every one of those players coming off that just put them in position to go score that touchdown. That QB knew this was a golden opportunity, and boy, he took advantage of it. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point was good. No incident there, and we are tied up in the third. They got the ball in great field position, and bam, bam, two plays and into the end zone. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Out of the gun to give to the back. Got it across the 20 and out to the 23. A pick up a four. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. It's a draw. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Oh, what a great play call. Sneaking the draw. The defense clearly thinking pass, flying up the field. No, sir. A little handoff, a little sneak attack. Great play call. They've got a first and ten at the 34. One back in the backfield. He gets the carry. And the ball is loose and live in the backfield. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. Man, and it was just the impact of the hit that dislodged the football from the ball carry. There was a heat-seeking missile coming in there, and he knocked that thing loose. BC has the ball back, hoping for a party in the mods. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. On second down, he'll try to make the connection this time. This time, he's got it. Now he's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line, and they are threatening on first down. When well, you get man-to-man -man coverage and you're running that curl, I got to sell him deep. I got to get a little bit of space where I can make him think, I'm running deep, running deep, and then I sit down real quick. QB, wide receiver on the same page, first down. They'll throw it on first down. Deep shot for the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles. And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need you to be able to step up and make tough catches. And David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down, when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get it. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. They'll try to add another to their lead. 
And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with a 21-yard touchdown pass. Just about set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. The give is to Williams. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Looking to throw it to Uyangalale. Looking to the big tight end. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. And Bobby Bowden built this program. High-flying offenses. Great quarterback play. Innovation. And that's what they hope they'll see on this play today. Yeah, and it was year after year, man. He found so many elite athletes. Such good recruiting in the state of Florida. And when the Seminoles get those guys, man, those teams fly. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. Great execution on the RPO, and the receiver had some time to find the soft spot in the zone and make himself open for the quarterback and make it a much easier pass. Great job. The Seminoles getting set on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Grab behind the line. It's Lee. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Great effort by the defense here. Offense trying to go wide receiver screen. How about the speed on defense rounding to the football? Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. He'll just keep slinging it. Got him downfield. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. But when you're running the pro route against zone coverage as a QB, you know you've got to get the receiver the ball quickly. This quarterback has a cannon for an arm. He showed you on that last throw, and the offense picks up the first down. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Motion from the offense. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. Inside the 30. Hit the gas, kid. Wide open ahead. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. I love this play call. You want to get your playmakers the football in space. What a creative way. This little kind of push pass by the quarterback. Get into the receiver's hands quickly and let him go make yards. And that big gainer on the last one has them threatening from inside the 10. Turning to the running game on first and goal. And they try the middle of this stout defense and they rise to the challenge. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He wants it all. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. I love the quick decision that QB made there on that RPO, knowing he wanted to get it out of his hands fast. He just needs to make a more accurate throw moving forward. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. To the air, it's Uyanga Lale. Looking to the end zone. Touchdown, Florida State! 
And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We got to figure something out. We got to try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire. You might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody. Live with the results because everything else ain't working anyways. On to attempt the try. And the extra point was made without incident, and we're tied up here in the third. So an 82-yard drive there, and they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. BC has it back, and the Eagle offense returns to the field. From the gun, running back gets to give. Out across the 20 to the 21-yard line, a three-yard gain. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays, but sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well, but... If you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Quick pass on the jet motion. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver, the different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page, playing together. I love it. Looking to pass, it's Castellanos. Wide open downfield. Really needed a play like that to get out of their own end. They move the chains. They mark it at the 29. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Free snap motion in the backfield. Grabbed in the middle, it's McGowan. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. This is a very tough slot receiver to cover if you're a linebacker because of how quick and how shifty he is. You never seem to know which way he's going, and he always seems to create an open space for his QB. He's back to throw on second down. Got it in the middle. It's McGowan. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. They fought tooth and nail through three, and it is all locked up as we take a look at the stats. These two teams about to find out what they're made of as we open the fourth all tied up. Boston College putting together a very efficient drive. Wants to throw on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Yeah, and a really good job by the defender understanding the ball's coming. I got to break on it and go and not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down to make sure that's an incompletion. After the incompletion, it's second down. Using his legs, it's Robichaux. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat like quickness. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. Looking to throw, it's Castellanos. Looking down the middle. Got his man downfield. Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. 
And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. Comes out throwing on first down. Fires to the wideout. And that one's incomplete. Oh, missed opportunity on offense. QB and receiver just not on the same page there. Now on second down after the incompletion. Caught in the backfield, it's McGowan. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yard situations. The Golden Eagles moving quickly to the line. They'll try to run for it. Brought down after a nice game. You know, as a defense, you can have the right call and the right guy in the right spot, but that guy's just too good. And how about the running back on that play? Just making it happen, breaking off the huge game. It's tough to get these guys on the ground. And this offense is so close, they can almost taste taking a fourth quarter lead, but they don't want to leave too much time on the clock for an answer. Quarterback needs to make a better throw there, incomplete. Tell you what, that was a lightning fast decision. You could tell he knew what he wanted to do right away, makes the decision, but maybe his footwork wasn't a little bit good and the pass wasn't where he wanted to put that thing. I know that. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming to throw. It's Castellanos. Finds his target down the middle. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside, probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. Using his legs to buy some time. They stop him short as he was trying to scramble and find his way to the goal line. What a third down stop by this defense. Third down and goal, no problem. You know that guy. Every time he touches the football, you hold your breath because he's so dynamic at the quarterback spot. They were ready, and they forced the fourth and goal. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And now they take the lead. All field goals are not created equal, guys. Kicks in the fourth quarter to take the lead. They just seem to carry so much more weight. So give that young man credit for getting out there and knocking that thing through the uprights with all the pressure, with all the eyeballs on him. He delivered. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills. They've got it at the receiver position, so if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. You open a drive like that, and you've got some operating room. It's first down from the 38. The give is to Williams. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Most offensive schemes are predicated on first down productivity. That will not go down as a productive first down play. No, it will not, Reese. Give this defensive line credit because they were able to get penetration right off the snap and force a negative play. 
Looking to throw it to Uyangalale. Quickly to the tight end. That's a really good tackle there, giving up some size and still making the play. Well, you hear all the time that the tight end's the QB's best friend. You saw a perfect example of it on that last play, right? Second down, you need to pick up some positive yards to keep this third down manageable. Really nice job of executing that. Passing game, very effective on second down. What about here on third? How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. And that RPO play was run to perfection. The run fake forced and sucked the defense up. And a nice job on the route by the receiver, not telegraphing that he was breaking to the inside on the slant. Running game worked on first down. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. He's got it on the right. Brought down just outside the red zone. He moves the chains. It's at the 22. Big play in the passing game there, and I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. And the Seminoles will have it first and 10. Caught behind the line. It's Lee. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. They're trying to throw the screen out to the receiver. The defense, though, having none of that. They are just too physical. They're too fast. And they force a negative play. Hit a little speed bump on this drive. It's second and 12. Looking to throw it again. Got it in the middle. It's Morlock. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there. And he stopped from getting the first down. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Reese. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out. Let's get some positive yards and then get to third down. And we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards over there. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. Third down, I got this. I'll take this myself. He makes the read quickly. He calls his number, he has confidence in himself, goes and gets the first down. They've moved it into scoring territory, first and 10 from the 11. Wide receiver shows motion. Give to the running back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. We've reached a two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Wants to throw. It's Uyangalale. He's got it. Touchdown, Seminoles. And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. What a great job by this offense. And listen, I judge offenses by what they do in the clutch. In those big moments and right before the half, in the fourth quarter, late in the game, just like right here, you need a score. you got to go take the lead. They do everything they can. Now, defense, you're up. I need you to get me a stop. Setting up for the PAT, and when he gets this late, every point matters. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Boston College sending the offense back onto the field. Going up top on first down. Makes the grab. It's Bradley. 
They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. I love quarterbacks that are decisive and that put the muster on the passes. When you need to put the ball on a line in a hurry with some extra hot sauce, you have to do it. Good job by the quarterback understanding zone and hitting that curve. Wow, the quarterback knew he had to get that one to his receiver quickly on the in route. Did you see the velocity on that throw? And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. He wants to throw. Catch in the middle, it's Bond. Running to Green. Nothing but Green ahead. Touchdown, Boston College. And they've moved out front here in the fourth. I think one of the most underrated things we talk about with the QB is timing. Being able to get the ball out of his hands to his receiver where he can continue to catch the football and run with it. Nice pitch, nice catch, nice play in the fourth quarter when you needed it for this team to take the lead. This one's big to make sure they can't beat you with a field goal. And it's good, and he pushes the lead to three. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a huge play in the passing game, covering 67 yards to the end zone. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about great balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. To the air, it's a younger Lele. Unloads to the right. He's got an open man. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away, and they've got to push the ball down the field. Looking to go up top on first down. Finds his man. It's Lee. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. To the air on first down. Throws to the wideout. Snagged in the middle. It's Benson. Stop is made at the 44, but it's a 15-yard gain and a first down. And the Seminoles come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. Well, that's one the offense would love to have back. That's a play they practice over and over and over. They feel like they can run that play in their sleep, not able to connect there. After the incompletion, looking at second down. He's looking to throw. And he is finding wide open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Big time players make big time plays in big time games. Great job by the defense. Not closing the door completely, but stopping the momentum late in the game when you already got a lead. Nice job, D. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. The quarterback takes a knee. 